everybody say that, but the name chooses you. You don't choose a name, you know? Oh, another huge yeah. left hand! Oh, he's in big And OAF drops Alexander Martinez! The gangster life chose me. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this thing, a one wheel? Yeah, man, Kenny, how are you? Good, man, how are Good you? Good to see you. This is literally how OAM rolls. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Are you man. gonna try it? Can I try it? Yeah. yeah. A natural. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped off. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. <laughs> You've been in the top organizations. You've experienced a lot at this point in your career. How difficult is it to get through a PFL season? Uh, it's the hardest thing I ever did. Excellent back and forth battle. A very close fight. The hardest thing by far is stuff mentally, stuff uh, physically. Oh, that was a big kick to the body by OAM. My goodness. Everything about it is, is stuff. Oh, big shot there by Olivier. This is a smothering effort from OAM. Olivia Albert Messier booked himself a spot in the lightweight championship. There was a point in your mixed martial arts career where you switched from just being uh, Olivier to being the Canadian gangster. It was a pretty bad, <laughs> bad fight, but gangster do whatever he wants, so I don't care. I want them to hate me. That's that's the Canadian gangster way. Why did you take on that moniker? Everybody say that, but the name chose you. You don't choose a name, you know. The gangster life chose me. Whoa. It's just a big joke about how people they take themselves a little bit more too seriously. It fits well with me. Like you said, I like humor. This was a perfect fit for me. George St. Pierre, who's from Montreal, one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time, has inspired you and has helped you in your career. How has he done that? That's the reason why I started watching MMA. It's, uh, it's because of him. Three years after I started MMA, I met him and uh, he became a friend, he became a hero, he became a mentor. I've always been a friend with Olivier uh, since the beginning. I witnessed him early on in his uh, career. When I was looking at him, I knew that he was very gifted. I saw that he had all the quality to become uh, one day a champion. So you have the opportunity to be the first Canadian to, to be a PFL world champion. Does that cross your mind at all? Yeah, it does. I mean, it's amazing. Make history. But it make history, exactly. Yeah. I want him to impose his will. Oh! And I think that's what's going on in the fights. He's dictating where the fight goes, and he's dictating the pace, the strikes, positions, and he's getting the victories. You have Stevie Ray in the final. How would you compare your game to Stevie's game right now? Well, I, th I think Stevie is a dog. You know, he's a loose cannon. He's a really dangerous. Oh! but I do think I'm better than him everywhere. I think I'm quicker on the feet. I think I'm a better wrestler. I'm gonna dominate. Oh, look at him, left hand! He's in big and OAF drops Alexander Martinez! He's fighting the fight of his life. This is 100% the most important fight of his entire career. Oh, yeah. He's landing all his big weapons like he is right now. For me, it's all about the accomplishment, you know, to make it happen for myself. I don't feel pressure from outside. I do it for me and I do it for the story. I'm the kind of guy that likes to have a good story. Been working for, for this for 20 years and nobody's gonna take it from me. I'm gonna take what uh, I deserve.